Online Store 2.0. Is this overall a good thing for you as a Shopify user, or is this just a source of frustration and headaches? Let's break it all down. Hey, hey everybody, I hope you're having a great week. And if you're brand new here and we haven't met yet, my name's Kerry, I'm the founder of Shirt School, and I created this channel to bring you the best strategy, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business. In this video, I wanna talk through a few things around Shopify Online Store 2.0. What is it, how do you upgrade to it, and what are some of the roadblocks or frustrations that we have seen that we can help you avoid in your own store? In short, Online Store 2.0 is a complete overhaul of the Shopify system. You will see in your dashboard that some things have been moved, new features have been added, and they've also come out with a brand new theme editor. So that's actually where you edit the look and feel of your store, and they've come out with brand new themes, a whole bunch of new features and new goodies inside your Shopify account. Now what you don't see on the outside is that in order to, for them to do that, to come out with this brand new you know, redesign of everything, they had to completely recode the entire system and uh, that presents a number of problems for us as sellers. A lot of our favorite apps and some of the features that we used in the past may not be supported on this new system or may need to be updated. And so that's some of the things I wanna make sure you're aware of in this video so that you can avoid some of those pitfalls and you know, issues that we've seen with our students as we've, been, as we've been working through this transition to online store 2.0. Looking at the Shopify dashboard, you know, right off the bat, you don't see a lot of differences. It is very similar and it's laid out very similarly to the old you know, Shopify dashboard. Now they have updated the look and feel just a little bit and they have changed a few things around, very minor changes, but overall you're not gonna notice a ton of difference here. And if you're wondering like, how do I upgrade to online store 2.0? You do need to upgrade your theme, uh, but you don't have to actually do like any upgrades in your dashboard here and click any buttons. You're automatically upgraded to this new version of the Shopify system. One of the things that I've noticed just that always kind of trips me up is in the settings. When we click over to settings, uh, you do you will see that things are laid out a little bit differently in the settings, which is not a huge deal. You kind of just have to get used to kind of where the new things are, which isn't a big deal. You'll also see like in your products, in your collections, a few things may have changed from how they were designed uh, in the old system, but overall it's a great update and I think they've made things a lot better. The biggest features and upgrades that come with Online Store 2.0 by far are the new website editor and also the new theme. So let's start by just talking a little bit about this new editor. Now you're gonna notice right off the bat, you know, things are different in the editor than they were the old editor. The main thing is that there are so much more features that you can do in this editor. Everything is editable and that's what I love about it. One of the complaints that I had about Shopify, kind of the old system, was that the free themes were pretty great and you know, I think they included a lot of the things that most sellers need, but when you needed a little bit more customization, you just couldn't get there a lot of times, specifically on the product pages or you know, specific details about certain sections. And what's really cool is this new editor allows you to edit almost anything you can think of and it really up the level of customization on your website it's still extremely easy to use but i think that they have made this editor so much better this video today is sponsored by the shirt school launch your brand challenge presented by awkward styles we have a five day challenge coming up where we will teach you how to start and launch your very own online t-shirt or apparel business in only five days I go live for five days straight and I walk you through every step to come up with an idea, build out your store and launch your store and start getting sales in five days or less. If you're interested in joining us for this upcoming challenge, just head over to kerryegler.com slash LYB to reserve your spot. Back to the video. Let me kind of show you a few of the things. The first thing is when you hit this add section button, you'll see now that there are more options in here to add than there were the old. Uh, the old editor, you'll see a lot of different things. Video, slideshow, rich text, I mean, all these different things you can do. There's a lot more features in there. You'll also see I've got Vitals installed. A lot of apps will actually integrate with the theme so that you can add a few things from your apps right here in the theme, which is really, really cool. As we're editing the things here in our store, you'll see if we just grab it here, we can move 
you know, wherever we want, which is really great. And if we click the header on any of these, it will present different options over here on the right. And you'll see that there are a lot more options than they were than there were in the old editor. The last thing I want to point out about this new editor is actually on the product page. What I've noticed on the product page is again, kind of the same thing as we talked about just a minute ago, there's so many more options, which just makes it great. When you are, if you are like me or like our students and you're advertising maybe on Facebook ads or Instagram ads or really anywhere you're advertising, you're usually sending people to the product page. And so this is, in my opinion, the most important part of your website. And again, before on the old version, we had just a very static, basic product page unless you had a premium theme. The free themes were just not that customizable. And what I've noticed on the product page here is there is a lot of really, really great options and helpful options uh, that were needed in the old one and are here now. And so I really love this editor. Again, you see all the different options over here. And I just wanna give you a quick illustration. If I wanted my buy button, my like, add to cart button to just be on the top, I can literally just drag it up to the top. Now, that's kind of an odd thing to do. I'm not saying I would do that but you have that level of customization where you can really, really put things exactly how you want them and make them look and feel however you want. So in my opinion, the new editor is a great upgrade and I really, really like it. Along with that new editor comes brand new themes and specifically a lot of new free themes. Now I did a specific video uh, covering these free themes recently on the channel and that was just a couple months ago before recording this video and there are already new free themes in here since i've recorded that video they've come out with this ride theme they've come out with this color block theme and they've also come out with this studio theme now i reviewed taste crave dawn uh, and sense but they've come out i think in craft as well but they've come out with at least three new free themes already just since that video so i'm gonna have to do an updated video covering some of these new themes but along with that new editor and the online store 2.0, you've got these brand new free themes that are much, much better than the old themes. With these new free themes and this new editor and the new coding and all this stuff, that presents an issue for you if you are using the old themes and specifically the old free themes. Now, previously, you know, on my channel over the years, I've always recommended like the simple theme, the minimal theme. Those were some of my favorites, especially for t-shirts and apparel. We've had a number of students running into problems trying to use those old themes. Shopify's updated all of the back end, all of the coding and everything, and they're just not supporting the themes that were coded in that old language or that old system, right? So if you are using an old theme prior to the new themes being released and online store 2.0 being released, you need to upgrade soon. Our students have seen that when they go in to actually edit their theme, that they're running into problems or things that are not working until they upgrade their theme. So I'd highly recommend that if you're using Debut or Brooklyn or Simple or Minimal or any of the old Shopify themes, that you go in here and either select one of these new free themes or go and purchase one of the premium themes. I highly recommend the free themes. I don't think you need to spend hundreds of dollars on a free on a premium theme. So you need to go in here, select a new theme. You will have to do some additional customization on the theme. Should be a pretty painless upgrade, but it will take you probably 30 minutes to an hour or more to get your new theme set up. But I would highly recommend that you do that because if you're not running into issues already, you likely will run into issues soon unless you upgrade. Along with the problems we've seen in the themes, we have also seen a few issues that our students have been having with certain apps and also with print on demand apps. So let's talk about apps a little bit. Again, these apps that were in the Shopify app store were all built for the old system. And so when everything is recoded, everything is redesigned and upgraded, that presents some issues with these apps. Some of them are not compatible. Some of them need to be updated to work with the new system. And so I just wanna give you a warning that some of your old apps may cause problems in your store. You may need to uninstall and reinstall those apps, or you may need to wait until the developer actually upgrades the apps uh, and then you know use them again at that time. You may need to find another solution in the interim. It has created some issues and we've been seeing this a lot but let's talk about print on demand apps. The number one thing I've seen with print on demand apps, the issue I've seen is personalization. 
We've specifically been talking to a few of the print on demand companies that offer personalization on their products. And in talking to them, they've let us know that they have not yet upgraded their apps for, uh, to support personalization. And again, this has created some problems for our students that are doing personalization where you know you go to the product page, you wanna enter in some custom word or some custom name, and it just spins forever or presents an error or something along those lines. And as we've dug into this, we've just realized that a lot of companies and developers are struggling to get their stuff upgraded in time. And hopefully all this is coming soon, but we're just not quite there yet. So let's do a quick recap. If you were already using Shopify prior to Online Store 2.0, you don't need to press any buttons or do anything to upgrade to the new Online Store 2.0. What you do need to do if you're on an old theme is you need to go and upgrade your theme, select a new theme. For most people, that's the only thing that you need to do, but you may also notice that some of your apps, some of the features in your apps, or possibly some features in your print on demand apps too, may not work or function like they did uh, prior to online store 2.0. So those are a few things to look out for. Now, overall, I, we haven't seen a ton of issues. They have been uh, few and far between, but I did wanna make you aware of some of the problems that you might notice as you're upgrading. So the last thing you might be thinking is, why would they do this? Why is this so frustrating? And why, did they, why are they making me do this? Why can't I just stick with my old theme, stick with the old system? And here's what I would say. Change is hard in general for anybody. It's hard to change. It's hard when a lot of things change and you're used to something and you have to kind of retrain your brain. Overall, this is a much needed upgrade to the Shopify system. You have to consider that you know the, the old Shopify system was built a number of years ago. Shopify has been around for a while and that system was sorely needing an upgrade. And so they made a pretty big overhaul and tried to make it as painless as possible while adding in features that were much needed, right? A new editor with all kinds of customization. It, it's faster, your websites are gonna load faster. And you'll notice as you go through, you'll notice that new things have been added based off of customer feedback that overall make the system so much better. So I know sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating when things are upgraded like this, but try to see the big picture and realize that this is a really good thing for your store and for Shopify in the long run. If you found this video helpful today, would you do me a favor and hit that like button? Also consider subscribing to the channel. We put out multiple new videos every single week and you can hit that bell icon which will notify you every time a new video drops. We'd love to have you become a part of the family. See you next week.